I love my husband so much that I'd perhaps want to lay down my own head for his life. Perhaps he doesn't even know himself how I long for him. Perhaps just as you for me. It's beautiful that you have these memories of me. That's enough for you, and the main thing is that they are so innocent. I never thought I'd correspond with some man. And I resisted, even you. I didn't want to talk to you. But fate wanted otherwise, so we'll now leave everything to fate. It's better that you're so old now. If you were young, my husband would never permit this. You know that I opened your last letter with misgivings, and I had reason to. How can one not want you when one loves you? But I know, don't I, that I'll never have you. Would I pluck that flower of that family happiness of yours? Would I make free with my respect for you, whom I honor like no other woman on earth? Could I look your children in the eye, your husband and parents? Could I walk into your home? You know we dream about paradise, about heaven, and we never get to it. So I dream about you and I know that you're the unattainable sky. But not to want you though, that's an impossibility, I can't do that. You are entire in my soul, so it's enough for me to want you always. And to forget you, that would be sad for me, and it's impossible. So I'll be merry according to your order. I walk here isolated, the weather's chilly. Luckily I brought work with me.